Hello everybody and welcome to my 7th weekly Exile Hacks video and this video is a World Cup special! Uh, so we still got lots of Exile tips and tricks but uh, this week they're just centred around the World Cup. Uh, so we got a uh, how to set a quick background to make things look really cool quite quickly. Uh, we got a hack that is nothing to do with World Cup but uh, I thought I'd leave one in there that is uh, purely useful where you can create really quick sums uh, and then I've got this random one which is something to do with a football so stay tuned for that one um, it's quite a good one uh, and it's one that I uh, quite like the last one but um, let's get started with our first one first Right, so our first hack of the week is how to add a quick background uh, and this one's a very simple one uh, and part of the built-in part of Excel. So here we just got a normal uh, World Cup uh, tournament schedule spreadsheet uh, and it's just got all the scores in and things and uh, you fill in all the times. Uh, well, it has all the times of the matches, etc, etc. Uh, but what I want to do is I just want to pimp it out, personalise it a bit. Uh, and in order to do this, uh, I'm just going to add a really quick background. So if I go into page layout and then background. Uh, and this just lets you put a picture in as the background. Uh, and you've got a choice, you can do it from a file from your computer. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to search the web straight away. So I'm just going to search for FIFA World Cup wallpaper something like that have a look around uh, ooh, close that off uh, and then just select one of these let's go for that one I don't want to go too crazy with all my colors uh, and now you see I've got quite a cool background on it uh, if we scroll down we can see I've got the Brazil thing showing it behind everything so uh, if we want to delete that I'm just going to delete it, I don't really like that one so I'm just going to search for a different one so uh, Brazil World Cup background search for that, let's put in oh this one looks quite cool there we go and that one looks nice and football-y see it very quickly just creates a very effective looking spreadsheet so that's it for my first hack of the week So my second hack of the week is a very simple one uh, and World Cup related for those of you that aren't really that bothered about the World Cup uh, and uh, it's just how to quickly write in your sums. So if you've got a list of data like this and you just want to stick a sum at the bottom uh, you don't need to go around by going and finding your auto sum up here or by going equals sum. Uh, you can literally just type alt and equals and it'll automatically put a sum formula in for you of all of the cells above it in that table um, so very quick hack very easy to use uh, and that's it for our second hack of the week right my third hack of the week mm, when I'm going to show you what it does might seem very pointless but uh, it's actually quite a cool one to put in various things uh, and quite often if someone asks you to do something in work that uh, is very simple. It's sometimes quite cool to have little Easter eggs like this in your in your um, spreadsheets, just because it kind of shows off how good you are with uh, Excel. Uh, and then obviously people will want you to do more things, and then you get better jobs, and then you get paid more money. Uh, and then everyone's uh, happy because you've got lots of money. Um, uh, but anyway, um, so this particular hack, I've just got a football here on a black. Uh, blank green screen uh, and every time you press the football uh, it moves a random distance uh, and although this sounds really stupid uh, sometimes it jumps off the screen and you don't know where it is um, although this sounds really stupid if you put something like this in your spreadsheet people are going to be like oh wow this guy actually knows quite a lot about what he's doing uh, it's very simple to do uh, and obviously you can download this sample in the description below uh, and the code is very short, it's just a few lines long um, it's just got this stuff at the beginning which works out a random number between minus 100 and 100 uh, and then this section here just takes the, your shape so you'll need to change your shape name if you've got a different shape name uh, and then moves it left or upwards uh, by the 
low and high values that you put in here uh, and the random number that puts any number between minus 100 and 100 uh, and it just moves it around purely at random uh, and yeah that's it that's it for my super hack of the week um, that's it for this week uh, if you enjoyed it please subscribe uh, pop onto our Facebook uh, or check out our website where we've got lots of other interesting things to read or watch